We have so far discussed and used the solution to the non-homogeneous state equation, but we haven't proven it. In this video, we derive the solution to the non-homogeneous state equation. The non-homogeneous state equation is shown here, which is the state equation with a non-zero input. We specify that the initial states at time t0 is given by a vector x0. We want to prove that the solution to this is given by x of t equal to the state transition matrix with argument t minus t0 times x0 plus the integral in terms of tau from t0 to t of the state transition matrix with argument t minus tau times vector b times the input u of tau. The proof makes use of the properties of the matrix exponential function. I've rewritten the four properties we use over here. The core idea of the proof is that we obtain an intermediate result, which we combine with the non-homogeneous state equation to eliminate x dot. We then manipulate things to make the state vector x of t the subject of the equation. To get to the intermediate result, we start by taking the time derivative of the matrix exponential of minus at times x. We use the product rule for differentiation, which says that the derivative of a product of two functions is the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the first function times the derivative of the second function. We now use property 4 to write the derivative of the matrix exponential of minus at as minus the matrix exponential of minus at times a. And we take out the common term. The intermediate result is now that this is equal to this, which we'll use to get rid of x dot. We now jump back to the non-homogeneous state equation and we bring ax to the left hand side. We then left multiply with the matrix exponential of minus at, which makes the left hand side equal to the right hand side of the intermediate result. We now replace this with the left hand side of the intermediate result, which gives us this line. We now have removed x dot but there is still a time derivative that we do not want so we integrate over time tau from t0 to t. The integral of a derivative of a function is simply the function evaluated at the start and the end of the integration interval and the right hand side becomes this. After evaluating this term at tau equal to t and tau equal to t0 and moving the term with t0 to the right hand side we get this line. It is now almost in the form we want. We want just the state vector x on the left hand side. To do this we left multiply with the matrix exponential of at and use property 2 and then property 1 to write this as the identity matrix which multiplied with x is simply x. The right hand side becomes this. We now combine the matrix exponentials in the first term using property 2. We move the matrix exponential of at into the integral since it is a constant matrix with respect to the integration variable tau and combine the matrix exponentials within the integral using property 2. Lastly, we see that this is the state transition matrix with argument t minus t0 and this is the state transition matrix with argument t minus tau, which is the result we wanted to prove. This concludes the proof of the solution to the non-homogeneous state equation, which allows us to calculate how the states of a system respond to a given input signal.